Uh, James, can you just give us your assessment of um, of that second day's play here at Trent Bridge? Uh, look, it, it it wasn't the way we wanted to start it, and um, that was a shame. We wanted to try and get as close to parity as we could, um, but came up short. Uh, not for lack of effort, you know. This, they're a very fine bowling outfit, um, but you know we got ourselves in opposition from from the way things went the previous night. But I think you know you, you give a side a hundred run lead like this, it's it's going to be hard <laughs> to wrestle back the uh, the initiative. But look, this afternoon, the last couple of sessions, we've worked hard. You know, we've we haven't let the game get away from us. Um, I think as a unit, they've bowled pretty well uh, it has flattened out and that's pretty sick there's still a, the odd ball does something but um, yeah I think we, when you lose that sort of initiative it really does put you on the back foot and you know we're going to have to play some extraordinary cricket to, to get something out of this For a young group of bowlers though, you must be very proud of the way they ran in James because they, they, they certainly didn't give up out there this afternoon They didn't and you know this is the this is the balance for us is the, is the progress of seeing the character you know the character that was shown at Middlesex to, to to play in the way that we did there. Um, and equally, you know, the way that the guys aren't giving up, you know, they're giving it their all, they're bowling with skill, you know, and we're seeing the ball move and swing, um, you know, and two young spinners provide a little bit of control where it could easily have been taken away from us. So, look, there's always lots of positives. It might not be on the team result, but there is progress and, you know, things that, you know, we'll, we we'll look for the good but we are realistic and understand where we are uh, in this situation how much of a boost is it to have Ollie Robinson back in the attack James <coughs> oh, it's great I mean I I just watch in in awe at times at, at his skill um, and I think you know no one's in doubt of his skill and ability uh, to bowl but you know what I thought was most impressive is that he's bowled two back-to-back days he's bowled 34 overs in two days and, you know, I thought he ran in as hard um, the last spell um, in and around T as, uh, as he has done throughout the match. And that's what, you know, that's what we're encouraging. So, you know, he's a talisman for the team. Um, he's fun in the dressing room, but he, um, he drives standards out on the field and um, it's, it's a welcome to, to have him back. Um, you say the wicket's flattened out. I mean, it's, a, it's going to be a tall order tomorrow. But I, I mean, what, what, what can you say to the guys? At some stage, you're going to have to bat tomorrow. What, what's that run chase, if you can call it that, going to be all about, James? Is it breaking it down? Or? It would be. It would be to chunk it down. As I say, we wanted to get as close to parity first innings. We didn't get there. You know, we've worked blind, hard here, but you know, it's it's stretching out to a 400 run lead. Um, and again, it will be more the character and the mindset than. Um, perhaps you know the the figures at the end of the game. Uh, final question: Archie Lennon last night batting against two you know, world class performers, and it wasn't easy out there. And it, you had to marvel at you know a young man who didn't flinch in the face of some pretty hostile bowling, James. No, and this is it. I mean, this is the part that you know we saw him play uh, fantastic well at Middlesex. Um, a rear guard action there, and I think set a tone and a, a belief that we could bat the the rest of the game and you know he he gave hope with bat, batting with Chets there at the end last night of what is possible when you apply yourself and to see someone who's just turned 18 do that in that situation on that pitch against those bowlers you know is a huge boost to what is ahead but equally we're realistically you know we're realistic it it isn't enough at in the state of this game. Yeah, is that something you can use tomorrow to say to the other guys, look, you know, if you, you, you get your head down out there, who yeah. knows? I mean, that's a long exactly. shot, we know. No, we, we, we are. Like I say, look, it's, it, that's what, the, for me at the moment, a lot of the time it's judging the character, getting more information about the mindset of how we play cricket and arrest the sort of, you know, we've, you know, we, we've played cricket to, you know, I think the game at Middlesex, I think in, in the past it might have been a game that we might have capitulated in and we didn't. Uh, this, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the best first innings, but you know we're applying ourselves and you know that's it's gonna it's gonna hold us in good stead. But um, you know, I, I, I equally I can't you know I can't get away from the fact that in in, in this game it's it's gonna be a hard a hard couple of days ahead.